Welcome back to another video. So first thing I'm going to do here is give you a little before because I mean, obviously I'm putting something down here. So let's whip around and look at the before of my backyard. I got some spots of stress here, drought, heat, whatever it may be, but you can see those stripes both ways. I'm doing that one that way and one that way. They look really good. It's crazy because this, I think it's a Samsung camera thing. Uh, in person, you barely see these at all. You know, these brown spots. I can't hardly see those unless I'm directly on top of it. But for some reason on camera, they show up really, really clearly. Okay, so this is the before. I'm really gonna try to focus on this area because this is the easiest to see. Okay, I've turned off super steady and sorry about the wind. So let me um, loosen all my stuff up here. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but that uh, stabilization must do something because it looks way better without the stabilization on. Okay, that's the backyard, right? Let me get another angle over here. Okay, so uh, the reason I'm showing you this before is because I am going to do a special application today in order to prepare for uh, 4th of July, I guess, mostly for pictures and stuff because I'm not really, I don't normally have people over for pretty much anything. Um, <clears throat> but here is what I'm going to be putting down. Da -na -na. So if you can't really tell here, <clears throat> Hold on. I went ahead and turn that turn that super steady off just to give you a better picture here. But you may have seen. Um, I'm sure you guys know about the double dark combo. These two. I'm sure you know about uh, Jeremy's little super punch. Or hold on. Okay. So this is double dark right here. These two. These two. Uh, which I can't. Yeah. Air eight RGS. That is the compaction cure. Um, so, if you combine the compaction cure with half the double dark and dethatch, then you get like a crazy flush of nutrients, right? Um, <clears throat> the reason that is, is because things like aerate um, and RGS, but mostly aerate here, is going to uh, get deep into the soil, or not necessarily super deep, but you know. It's going to get deep in there and it's going to release nutrients that are locked up in there. That's the point of products like Air 8 or Humic 12 or just humic acid in general. Um, <clears throat> and then when you add RGS, I mean, obviously it's root growth stimulant. That's just beneficial. It's not necessarily um, important, right? But then you add dethatch, which dethatch, uh, dethatch is a thatch digester, which means it's going to start eating. It, it's uh, can increase microbial activity on the thatch layer, which then is going to cause all of the nutrients that are locked in the thatch to flush into the the root system, or uh, yes, uh, that's what I'm going to say, the root system, which of course can be more readily taken up, be more readily taken up by the grass blade. And then microgreen is just a big, huge micronutrient punch, including iron. Um, that just in general already gives you a really good dark color, um, a dark green color. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do, and I would have one more here, um, but I don't. I ran out of Humic 12 and I haven't gotten any more yet. I'm going to though. Um, but so this is Jeremy's combo, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add green effect. Anyway, um, what I'm calling this is the better than Jeremy's hit. Uh, since I'm doing it for 4th of July, I'm going to go ahead and call it the, the Freedom Cocktail. We'll call it that. So just to reiterate, the Freedom Cocktail created by me is Aerate, RGS, Dethatch, Microgreen, Green Effect. But here are the rates of those. I'm going to splash them up on screen for a second because I don't remember them and I have to find them. Actually, you know what? I'll just find them. All right, I found it. So here's the rates. Six ounces per thousand. 
three ounces per thousand, six ounces per thousand. Normally, if you hadn't already used dethatch, I would say do eight or, or nine, eight or nine ounces per thousand. But since I have recently used dethatch, it was like two and a half, maybe three weeks ago. Um, I don't want to use it a ton, like super, super often, I mean. So I'm going to do six and the green effect, six. So basically you're looking at six, three, six, six, six. Let me tell you the order I'm doing these in, because in my opinion, the order is important. And that's because things like aerate, RGS, uh, microgreen, you want those in the soil. Now, microgreen obviously has some iron in it. Um, and I'm sorry about the AC units and stuff. Everything's loud right now. I, don't, I can't believe it, but whatever. Um, these are soil products. You want them in the dirt, in the soil, below the thatch layer into the root zone, right? But then dethatch, you obviously want that in the thatch layer, right? And then green effect. That is a... Um, you want that primarily as a foliar application because it's being taken in by the the blades of grass, the cells in the the uh, vegetative growth, right? Um, so this is the order I plan on doing things in. This from starting here, going this way. So six ounces, six ounces, six, 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 six. And uh, I'm going to do all that with the so dial and spray. And I'm only doing it on 4,000 square feet, so I'm not using a ton of stuff. Anyway, let's get to spraying. One quick comment. Um, for most of these, I'm going to be using the shower head setting on the sprayer. Uh, but at the uh, prompting, uh, not directly, but indirectly through Alan Hayden's latest video, uh, latest at the time, the video where he's going to spraying green effect, um, 700 green effect on some St. Augustine next to a mango tree. He was like, I'm going to use the bird mouth, the patent pending bird mouth. Um, so I'm going to be using the bird mouth uh, <laughs> when it comes to green effect because I do want to get that kind of fine mist going. I don't want to use a shower setting. So all of these are going to be shower settings except for that green effect, which will be bird mouth. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start spraying stuff. Okay guys, all done. Um, doesn't look much different right now, right? Oh, from this angle, it's awful. But let's turn around. Yeah, I can still see a lot of that brown that you can't see without Steadicam on. I wonder why that is. Overexposure or something, that brown's obviously there though. Um, oh well, whatever. So here it is right now. So I'm gonna come back in 24 hours. I don't know if I'll take a quick video or a picture or what, um, but I'll come back in 24 hours, take a look. Uh, and then I'll wait until 4th of July and see how it looks. And then I will update you on 5th of July, probably. I don't know. I don't know what day of the week any of this stuff is. Um, Cause obviously I don't post until Thursdays. So sorry for the rocking. Um, okay, so there's my there's my uh, Freedom Cocktail is what I'm going to call it because it's to get ready for 4th of July and it's better than Jeremy's. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Okay guys. So this is the... I guess I can flip you around. I'm all sweaty. This is the 72 hour check-in after I did that Freedom Cocktail. Um, and you'll notice I try to use some stripes. I don't have a striping kit. So um, I don't know how that's exactly going to compare to the before video. Um, but it should give you a pretty good reference point of how everything looks. So let me flip you. 
Woo. Yeah, everything's looking really good and and dark. I know it's kind of hard to tell, and I'm sorry for the wind. It's always windy. But yeah, this is with no striping kit. This is just my mower, a bunch of passes. And I'm actually in the middle of filming a striping video, so um, don't be surprised if I look the same in two videos in a row. <laughs> but here, yeah, here's how everything's looking. Uh, we have gotten a little bit of rain here and there, so everything got watered in, irrigated. Oh, okay. Well, that's the after video. This stuff still looks awful. Let me take you off Steadicam real quick. Okay, off of Steadicam. Thing looks a little bit better, but this still looks like crap. Whatever. Um, I might have to dethatch or do something here. I don't know. Uh, either way, in my opinion, everything's looking absolutely fire lit tastic whatever anyway so that is my freedom bomb cocktail um yeah it, it gave me some good results i know a bunch of people do something similar like uh pacific northwest lawns nathan did something a little similar too um he just added humic 12 which i was going to if i had some anywho <clears throat> Thanks for checking out this this fun little video. Um, I know I said a bunch of times it's better than Jeremy's. Uh, just messed around. Jeremy knows. I love greener lawn here. Um, anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. Um, comment if you have any questions or you want to chat. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.